Hello, I'm Kirk Moore, Lieutenant with the City of Henderson Police Department's Office of Public Information. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the North Patrol Division in the City of Henderson on December 14, 2019. This is the eighth officer-involved shooting for 2019. You are about to see relevant video footage, learn about evidence and our response related to this incident to provide you a better understanding of what occurred based on what is known to this point in the investigation. The City of Henderson Police Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. This transparent viewing is in no way intended to draw any conclusions about whether the officers involved acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images you are about to see may be disturbing and you may hear strong language. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or to defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hello, I'm Michael Denning, Support Operations Bureau Deputy Chief of Police. The City of Henderson Police Department is committed to valuing and preserving human life. The protection and preservation of all human life, including the lives of individuals taken into custody, is the department's fundamental objective and primary duty of all Henderson Police Department employees. The following is a brief overview of an incident that began December 14, 2019, around 8 a.m. Officers from the North Patrol Division responded to Trader Joe's located at 2716 North Green Valley Parkway in reference to a male subject armed with a knife threatening to stab someone. Here's the 911 call and the corresponding radio broadcast to responding officers. Henderson 911, what's the address of the emergency? Um, Greater Joe's on 2716 North Green Valley Parkway. What's the phone number you're calling from? I'm sorry? What is your telephone number? Um, the guy. What is your name? Mikey. And what's the emergency? Tell me exactly what happened. I have a knife in my store. Okay, does he have the knife out? He said he what's he doing? Somebody. I got fired. He said what? He said, I'm gonna, he said I have a knife. I'm going to stab somebody to get the cop here. Is he saying who he's going to stab? No. Hey, I what it is. What's he look like? Got a is he white, black, Hispanic? White. Got black. About how old is he? Jacket on. About how old is he? I'd say about 50. And he's wearing a black leather jacket. Is he wearing pants, shorts, blue jeans? He's um. He's standing kind of towards my entrance, just kind of watching people coming in. So, so he's standing at the front entrance. Yeah. So he told you, I'm going to stab somebody. Call the police. That is not me. <laughs> Did he say why he wants to stab someone? I'm sorry? Did he say why he's wanting to do this? Did you call the cops? Did you call the cops? Did you call the cops? And so we're calling the cops. We're telling customers not so, to right. Okay, so Mike, what started all of this? Was I there some... I, I just, we just opened. All of a sudden, he walked towards the front of my store, and one of my crew said he has a knife. Call the cops. And that's all I know so far. Your crew said to call the cops, or the suspect yeah. said for you to call the cops? He was holding his knife, and he said, are you calling the cops? I'm, I have a knife. I'm going to stab somebody. The subject was described as a white male, about 50 years old, wearing a black leather jacket and blue jeans. When officers arrived at the establishment, they encountered a male subject matching that description, later identified as Mr. John Watson, armed with a knife. As the first officer arrived, Mr. Watson began charging toward the officer with the knife in his right hand. Mr. Watson was given verbal directives to drop the knife, to which he ignored and continued aggressing the officer. Ultimately, the officer discharged his service weapon. Officers attempted life-saving measures. However, Mr. Watson later succumbed to his injuries. Body-worn video cameras used by the Henderson Police Department have a one-minute buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly, where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. The cameras are worn at chest level by most officers assigned to field operations duties, and they capture a general perspective from that angle. Available lighting, movement, distance, and other factors can affect clarity and picture quality. The following body-worn camera video and witness video are of relevant footage directly related to the incident I just described.
Where's he at? Hey! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! <laughs> Oh my God, I am here at Trader Joe's and this guy just walked in as I was checking out and he threatened me and a lady with a knife and asked if we wanted to get stabbed. I ran off the store and he's sitting here. He said, if we don't want to get stabbed, call the police right now. I ran off the store, called the police. I'm sitting in front of Trader Joe's uh, warning people not to go in and we're waiting for a police call. call now. If you can see him, he's right here at the door. He's pacing back and forth. He has a knife in his hand. Oh, they finally came. Here they are. Oh, hey, shit. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Oh, fuck. They just killed him. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Suicide by cop, oh shit. One black eight inch fixed blade knife was found at the scene and was booked as evidence by investigators. Here is a still image captured from body worn camera video of Mr. Watson charging the officer with the knife in his hand just prior to the shooting. In the next several months, the Henderson Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete forensic test. After the concurrent investigation, our critical incident review unit will forward its finding to the chief of police. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.